staying strong. Use your existing contacts and networks. Look at the work you want to do, then work out how to pay for it. Be prepared to work differently and with other groups. Think about what services you could provide. Get ready for change. Your group may not be able to do exactly what you want to if you still want to get public money. Some self-advocacy groups don't want to be service providers, but may need to think more about this in order to survive. The rules to apply for money will change for all voluntary groups. There will probably be fewer grants and more contracts. Contract. A contract is a legal agreement between people. You must do the work that you've promised to do in your contract. As well as doing the project work, you'll probably also have to have meetings with your funders and write reports. Self-advocacy groups will need to be able to do all the work described in these contracts. Portsmouth Self-Advocacy Group have started up a friends group. The number of college places has been cut, so this group helps the people who might have gone to college instead. This is a good example of how to provide a service. Your local authority might also be looking for schemes like this one to help people out when services are cut. Back to basics. In the future, there will be less money around for self-advocacy groups. It may be time to look at what you spend your money on and where your money comes from at the moment. Then ask yourself some questions. How much do you spend on things like rent and staff? Do you really need an office? Could you meet somewhere for free? What work would you ideally like to do? Could you use things like Facebook and Skype more to keep in touch and tell people about your work? Find out what needs doing in your local area. Apply to do these projects. Use the contacts you may have already built up. For example, people you've met at partnership board meetings. You could ask local businesses to help in kind, not with money. This could mean them donating equipment, office space, or their staff's time. Talk to the people who give you funding. Tell them what your group has been doing and about the value of self-advocacy. You can make a difference. Tell your funders what difference your group has made to people and to their lives. Tell them what you can do. For example, training for staff and GPs or reporting on what is happening about healthcare. Watch out for other self-advocacy groups. Help each other out. Use local networks like the regional forums to keep in touch. In the southwest region, they've started up Group Watch to help struggling groups survive. Social enterprise. Some self-advocacy groups have already started to set up social enterprises. These are businesses that do work to make things better. The idea is to make money which is spent on the business for the good of the community. People First Cumbria support a social enterprise called Jupiter Quality. They work with providers, commissioners and regulators of services to check that they're doing their job properly and listening to what people want. Becoming a social enterprise instead of a charity can be easier. There are fewer rules. It can be easier to get support and funding. You could do things like training, quality checking and easy read information design. You could then earn money for doing things that your group is already doing. Things to watch out for. Work to improve health, housing and jobs is still important. More ideas for paid work. Personal budgets. Taking part Shropshire are being paid to help people with learning disabilities, local authority staff and carers to make personal budget support plans for people with high support needs. Training for GPs and health professionals. New GP commissioning groups. This is sometimes called a consortium. NHS Health Watch groups. 
the big society. Help local councils and the NHS to do work that they have to do by law. Tell local councils about how cuts to services and benefits are affecting people's lives. Working with others. Look around your local community for people to work with. Here are some ideas. Libraries, housing associations, GP surgeries, police and criminal justice agencies, theatres, leisure centres.